Hello Scorpio, this is your July 2018 reading. Wanted to get this out as soon as I could because it's getting late. Scorpio, July 2018. Scorpio, strength card in reverse. Feel like you're losing energy? Scorpio, July 2018. Scorpio. Hmm. Air energy. Let's get these mixed up. You had a little bit of intense type reading last time. Let's see if this is the same Scorpios we're reaching. Getting this for a lot of re uh, cards. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle prior. It's the Seven of uh, Swords. It's in reverse. It's the overall energy. It's coming out of uh, flying under the radar, possibly deception, possibly sneaky behavior, seeing someone try to get a buy with something and seeing it for sure or preventing it. I should have said that. We have here, we got the Nine of Swords. It's in reverse. It's the subject at hand. The current environment is, in, like I said, in reverse. It's coming out of a nightmare. What is cross? Let me find out what's crossing it. What is crossing the Nine of Swords? What is crossing the Nine of Swords in reverse? Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Doesn't have to be. Maybe taking on energy. Someone. Maybe make. Maybe you're coming out of cruelty or a, or a nightmare situation with the Queen of Wands, or maybe that's what the person that calls it in the, originally. The goal. The high priest is in reverse. Your goal is maybe uncover secrets or um, trying to tune into your uh, intuition. Maybe it was off in the past. Maybe you're trying to turn that around. Foundation for Scorpio for July 2018. Mm. Five of Wands, a little bit of competition, a little, uh, you know, a little bit of a battle. Not not too fierce, but it's more like competition. Someone's trying to get their way. I'm going to clarify that in just a minute. I'll lay out four more cards at the end, but I'll overturn them because I, I don't want to know the outcome right away, the total outcome. I do know when it, I will know the near future in a minute. Hold on. In the past. Hmm. Someone refused to see something, make a decision. Or maybe they just didn't want to put up with anything. It's like something wasn't finished. I'm feeling it's not finished. It has to do with finances too. Maybe this person had helped you or maybe the situation, whatever you were in, had to do with wealth, finances, your own income. Near future for Scorpio. Near future for Scorpio. Near future for Scorpio, July 2018. Next few days, next two few weeks. You're no longer hanging around, waiting. You're no longer feeling stuck. I want four more cards. I'm, gonna let, I'm not going to let you see them just yet because I want to go back and clarify some of these others. This is the near future. You're coming out of feeling stuck. Ace of Wands, overall beginning energy is like you didn't have a passionate new beginning somewhere, so it wasn't offered in the past. That's the beginning energy. But you are coming out of a nightmare situation, possibly with a fire sign or someone carrying that energy. A little, still a little like, kind of like argumentative type situation. Let me find out. Nine of Swords, why are you there in reverse with the Queen of Wands crossing you? Page of Wands, a message came across pretty harsh, abrupt. Someone didn't think before they spoke, but you are coming out of a nightmare situation. Maybe that's why. Maybe you're getting some clarity here. I'm still seeing tense, a tense moment of tension with this person. The goal, the high priestess in reverse. We need to know more about that. Why are you there? The high priestess, why are you in reverse? As the goal, the tower. You avoided a tower situation. You're wanting to uh, trust your gut, gut instinct 
where before you might not have to avoid certain tower situations. Maybe you had a tower situation with a type of fire sign or someone carrying that energy, maybe with a message, maybe you avoided harsh, a harsh situation. In the past, we have the uh, two of wands with the ten of pentacles clarifying it. Remember, something got stuck with a decision. It had to do with money, finances. Why are you there in the past? Ooh, devil in reverse, getting that a lot, too, for the signs. Coming out of feeling chain. You didn't want to feel chain. Even though possibly it was good financially for you, maybe you, I'm thinking some of you, yeah, some of you were wanting to feel not chained and you didn't decide on this situation in your favor even though it could have helped you and someone was feeling left out in the cold over it someone was feeling abandoned five of the wands foundation someone's still a little touchy keeps a little back and forth Why are you there, Five of Pentacles? I mean, through that Five of Wands. Let's try to pick up on this energy more. Chariot. A little chaotic. Chariot in reverse. And I don't think you're wanting to deal with the the situation, but you're still tense. A little aggravated. I need another card for the Five of Wands. Over relationship, you're not wanting to work on that relationship, possibly. Words were said, back and forth. A little give and take, a little, e it was equal give and take. It was both of you, you and this other person equally going back and forth with each other. Not such a positive way. The hangman, near future, you're no longer going to feel stuck. Let's find out why. Oops, because you got a lot of options. It's like you're not, you're still, you're coming out of feeling stuck. It's like you're not waiting around, but at the same time, you're harboring resentment, and you got a lot of options. Be careful of those options, because none of them are really that great. You know, you may be looking at things that aren't, aren't good for you, and it could lead you to get a little sick if you're not careful. Possible future outcome, the vice card is the Prince of Wands. It could be the same energy that's over here currently. The Prince of Wands could be a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, someone taking on that energy. It could be the possible future outcome or the advice they're saying to deal with it. Or that they're just going to be there. The Prince of Wands, why are you there? Prince of Wands may walk away. Maybe they're not going to wait for, they may not accept you having all those options. You know, if it's not what you want, you may want to talk to them. It's advice, or the advice could be to walk away. What is coming towards you is the Knight of Swords. It's in reverse. It could also be what people are thinking about you, that you're kind of chaotic and not thinking straight. Or it could be actually someone coming towards you that is the Knight of Swords. It was in reverse, by the way. It's like someone someone is not exactly planning ahead. The Knight of Swords, that does sound like the Knight of Swords. That it doesn't plan ahead. And right here, this is the Nine of Wands. It's in reverse. Someone's not thinking about what they should do, planning out carefully. They're just kind of haphazardly doing this, doing something. or And they're coming towards you, so be aware of that. Or they could be thinking that you're this way. Hopes and fears. You'd be able to carry this weight, carry these, doing two different things, carry everything that you need to do without dropping it, without messing up. That's the two of disc. And also it could be that you fear change. Two of pentacles, why are you there? Two of pentacles, why are you there? Page of cups, could be that you fear, you know, Taking positive offers, new offers that are that are loving. 
because someone may offer you their cup or a message. You may be bringing you a message of friendship and love, but you may not accept this. You may be fearing it, maybe because of a negative situation in the past, and maybe you're just afraid, you know, to dive into it. The outcome, the Prince of Swords. You may be dealing with an air sign that is in reverse. I told you that someone was coming towards you that was air energy. And this could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But remember, this person is in reverse. So, and maybe that's the options, you know, when you got, you could get sick. So be careful in the long run. Uh, page Princess of Swords, why are you in reverse? Or the Prince of Swords, why are you in reverse? Let me get some positivity at the end here. It's saying just be careful of your options. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid of offering your cup or them offering your cup to you. Do, you know, do the positives. Prince of, Cup, Prince of Swords, why are you there is the outcome for Scorpio. So I know some of you got some happiness. Yeah, because you got another positive choice. You got two choices there, and I, I have said this other times, and I'm getting also the overall energy as the Three of Swords in reverse, so maybe you had choices, options, and one is a good choice, is a positive choice, but you don't know if it's going to work, and you got the, more, the one that maybe is not as promising as the other, but they're there, and you have them there. And so you're contemplating, what should I do with these two different situations? And it could have to do with this fire energy and this earth, I mean, air energy. So it's, it looks like you possibly are like, got, your, got something going on in July. I don't see it like finishing out in July. I do see you have a lot of options, just options and decisions to make over a third party situation. We got actually two threes here. Three of Pentacles, you got the Three of Swords in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. Um, so this has definitely got to do with more than one person. You need to make a decision. And one of the, per the people in is in the past that maybe you cared about. And you got somebody else still there that you also is pretty relevant in your life. And you're unable to make the decision towards the end of July, but it has it is there waiting to be made eventually. You're holding on to both and you don't want to let go. So that is your reading Scorpio and I'll be back in mid-July, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye.